Konnichiwa, I mean it's Steve Sakura, and you're watching PokeCons. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a DS game, and that is Fabulous Finds. I guess this is based off of a TV show. I'm really excited to try it out. It looked interesting, so I had to pick it up. I can't wait to see exactly what type of game we're going to be playing. I'm really hoping it's going to be a hidden item game with some good puzzles. As always, 10 minutes play game, fast time play game, a version of and I can't scripting things because the timer started. Timer just started, and away we go. So let's see. Good, we can use the controller. I know that's a little silly, but it's important, in my opinion, to know. Okay, let's pick slot one. Your favorite aunt, and B, lives in a quaint little cottage in Carmel, California. She is known in the neighborhood for being a kind-hearted soul and perhaps a bit eccentric and free-spirited. You have fond childhood memories of visiting her and bringing a uh, captivated, being captivated, bringing wow, well, um, by her leopard print, uh, caftan, and her ever-changing mood ring. The house is enchanting with the multicolored rooms filled with everything under the sun, and you have always loved it, and your aunt deeply. You have spent many hours exploring and playing among all the treasures hidden through that cherished your very many visits. But what a great surprise! Aunt B has given you the opportunity of a lifetime in a typical Aunt B fashion for the dramatic. She has decided to travel the world and wants you to have the cottage and everything in it. The house is full of treasures and you'll need a bit of extra... <coughs> Ooh, I can already feel the dust getting to me from this house. Wow. Ooh. That was not planned, by the way. <laughs> Cash to redecorate it from the wild, eccentric style of Aunt B. That only means one thing. Explore the house for those fabulous finds and hold a fantastic yard sale. Yes, we sell everything your aunt just gave you. We grown the green thumb. Okay, available cash, 100. Yard sale, income, zero. Uh, discarded, cost, okay, garage. Items found, silverware found, yard sale income. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Search time! Okay, use Alan all to do this. <gasps> we have a freaking timer. Not cool. Okay. So, bag. Okay, crap. It's actually gonna be like that. Okay. Guard. Okay, we can add the hose. Bag of fertilizer. There it is. Flamingo. There it is. Trying to hide from me. Golden statue. Oh, that's a hockey stick. We found a hat, rake, pants, that, okay, pots, whatever this is, we probably need it, that we probably need, oh, look more like just a barrel, can you fix it, use a stylus to draw the, oh, okay, done, we now have a wheelbarrow, so that, no, oh, oh, crap, Okay, a golden statue. I don't see any golden statues anywhere. Okay, no, no golden statues. Hummingbird feeder. Okay, we'll take that. Um, no, oh, okay. You're going to have to clean this little guy to see if it's worth selling. Use a stylus to wipe it off. Oh, you gotta make sure you get the sponge. Okay. Done. Okay, bird bath. But I already clicked on the stupid thing, didn't I? Nope, I did not. Okay, tomato plant. Okay. Oh, great job. You found all the items on the list. Tap the A button to continue. Yay. Box madness. Oh, sweet. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. You're trapped in the garage by all the boxes. Push the boxes with the D-pad in the marked thing. Oh, crap. 
crap, I suck at these. <gasps> oh, I just messed up. <laughs> crap. Reset. Okay. I'll do this one. I've got to go down. Let me do this. Let me go up. And then we can push it over. Then we do this. And I just messed up, didn't I? Crap. There goes the rest of the video. job. The boxes have been stored in the garage. Time to continue button on the A button to proceed. Yard sale day! Okay, hurry. It's your first yard sale. First you need to set out your yard sale merchandise for customers to look at it. Use the sellers to drag the items from the box out onto the yard. Tap on continue. Okay. Okay. Here's a hose. Uh, there's a rake that nobody probably want. Here, I'll give that for her away for free. Sun hat, bird bath, whatever the heck this thing is. There's a gnome. Watch out, he's dangerous. Wheelbarrow. Pots. I think a pot. I mean, a tomato plant. That and of course the flamingo. You can see all the people at your yard sale on the left side of the top screen. Use the control pad to change which c customer is selected and they'll show up on the bottom screen. Anyone, everyone has their own taste so you should read the clue cards on the top right to see who wants what. To sell an item, use the stylus to drag it over to the customer and then tap the A button. Okay. Okay, what do you want? Green jeans want young lady and red has dusty thing. Dancer wants an arch. Oh, okay, I see now. Yay! Okay, this person, hummingbirds. Young lady in red. Oh, wow. Okay. Chef is hungry. Who's the chef? Elvis. Uh huh, baby. Okay, why do we. Okay, it's hungry, so we'll give her that. What? It's a meal plant. Chef. Oh, is hungry for hummingbirds. It's hanging time when the customers. Oh, haggling time. <laughs> wow. Uh, when a customer haggles. With you over an item uh, list price, you have to have the option to accept or offer, or make a counter offer. However, you should be warned that if your counter offer is too high, they might refuse to leave the yard sell. List price, buyer's price, accept. Let's just move. Okay, sold. Okay, so this guy, okay, Elvis impersonator. Where's the Elvis impersonator? Want a lawn fell. Oh yeah, baby. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Young lady in red wants a dust dusty wobbler. What? Sun hat, rake, hose, wheelbarrow, fertilizer. What the heck does she want? No. Okay, I. Uh, Librarian has a thing for the salsa. Who's librarian? This must be librarian. No, the salsa. What? Tomato plant. Oh, duh. Okay. Um, let's see. 
Merlin wannabe. Merlin wannabe. Guess that must be this guy. Oh no, wait. Marilyn wannabe needs to protect her skin. Marilyn Monroe. Okay. That makes no sense, but okay. Okay, grandma. Plants. Okay, plants. Freaking take something, you old hag. Wants a friend. Oh. There goes a timer. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. Yes, it's a hidden item game, but then you have a lot of other things that they include. Um, including a puzzle game to figure out who's buying what. And then you gotta haggle with them. That's really cool. That's a cool idea. I like that. Huh. This looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope at least it's a game that's gonna be at least a little bit long, because I hate it when I get the, um games are hidden item games and they are super quick those are not fun in my opinion unless there's achievements to be earned or trophies then i can forget it but yeah it's one thing i really do not like it's when it's like oh well here's two levels complete it and it's like that took me 10 minutes of course you have other people 10 minutes are you kidding me no it took me 10 minutes why no comment Oh, you're that bad at those games. Shut up. And so I'm happy they at least have it. And so I really hope that this game does uh, have a nice lengthy uh, playthrough. If it at least gives me like eight hours of gameplay, I'll be totally fine with that. Because that's a minimal I would at least want with one of these. Then you have the other ones that are just like, Day 37. I've almost found the last item. <laughs> It's the last level. <laughs> you know, that type of game. Yeah. There's some of them out there who are just like that. It's they're they're fun. They really are. Um, I do like the whole puzzle element to it. You have to read the clues and they're not just gonna give you clues for everything. They're literally telling you, Go to this person, they want this. So that's pretty clever and I love that. And then you get to fix things to sell it. That's also a really nice thing and it will be fun to see what we get to fix and how we get to fix it. That's actually a pretty cool idea. Oh no, not bad at all. I was, I was expecting a um, hidden item game, but I was not expecting to be all that included. So not bad at all, and it's definitely going to be fun to play. That's really nice. Uh, I might have to do this one first. <laughs> Ooh, I'm actually I'm going to enjoy that. My question for you guys is, do you enjoy the um, the hidden item games and what are some of your favorites? I, of course, as you can tell, absolutely adore them due to the fact that they're just a lot of fun. Like I said, yes, there is some out there that are just they are so easy. You're just like, they better have achievements or trophies. I don't care which or what system or whatever. Give me something. That way, at least it was worth my... 30 minutes of gameplay. <laughs> um, but that's why I think about them. Is I really like the good challenge, and I love especially the ones that they'll use the same image uh, multiple times, but because they have so much crud hidden in there, all they do is they just change the list. Okay, here you go. And the, now that you have your new list, find all that for me. And you're like, Crap. And then you go through trying to remember where everything was that you saw as you're passing through. And yeah. I think some good examples I can give for that one was I think it was Interpol Detective or Interpol Interactive. I forget exactly the name, but it came up for PS3 uh, on the PSN. And holy freaking crap. I, uh, it took me, my friend, and my brother to actually 100% the game. Luckily, on my profile, then we did it on each other's profiles. But the first playthrough, holy crap. We were literally just sitting there, all three of us. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. And we're just racking our brains trying to go as quickly as possible for one of the trophies and trying to get everything found 
to just beat the game as quickly as possible for we can do it on all three profiles. And it drove us nuts because it was just so... It was There were some good hidden things in that game. Another one that I really enjoyed was I Spy for the DS. Um, I forget if it had any other name to but I did the I Spy on the DS. And I was able to beat it. It took me, I think... Oh, that one took me... I want to say five hours. Yes, I say the eight-hour limit is usually what I do like, but this one was different just because um, it had enough maps on there that was a lot of fun. You had to really earn your keep on different things, and you just enjoyed the game. Regardless of how short it was, it was still nice because um, it had two... Uh, two pictures to choose from for each planet you're at and they got pretty challenging to where it drove me crazy in some levels now yeah it took me only probably like five hours to beat it but we're talking several days working on it just because I was only playing it for so long and it was definitely worth it so the Ice Spy games are totally worth checking out and then I just have to bring up the classic, which is Where's Waller for the NES. Kind of an easier game. Not really, when you get to certain stages. It's insane what you have to do sometimes. And it's just like, even on an 8-bit form, you, they could hide him pretty good. So that was a lot of fun. Well, that's what I personally think about him. And I'm not, I just absolutely find him... Uh, so much joy to play them. So let me down in the comments below if there's any other you can recommend. Um, if I do begin to play them, I will uh, give you guys a shout out for the request. And so thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching this. Jesus Christ, Ciao, and Sayonara.